it's been a while but I'm back with another video now this look is inspired by Anna from her music video Red so let's not waste any more time and get into it sorry about my skin guys it's in really bad condition right now but thankfully we have makeup to cover it up instead of foundation I'm just gonna use baby cream for a natural look I'm just gonna need like a pump or two and then just dot it in the main five area of my face forehead, cheeks, chin and nose then just using my fingers and blend it away after I finish planning my baby cream I'm gonna use concealer to hide my dark circles my blemishes and the dark area on my face any imperfection just hide it up with concealer I'm using a makeup sponge to blend out my concealer Concealer is the absolutely things that I love the most It helped me cover up all my imperfections without looking so kicky If I only have one item to wear for makeup only, I would pick concealer I'm using Urban Decay Eye Shadow Primer to help my eyeshadow last longer Using an eyeshadow palette from Lancome, I'm taking this brown color and just draw it on my crease and point out the end to make like a cat eye like shape. Now I'm just defining the line on my crease a little bit more. For the line on your crease, you want to draw it like a little bit above your natural crease line. Now I'm moving on to Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm taking the color called Bust with my angle brush still. I'm gonna apply it on the edge of the crease to intense the color even more. Now I'm taking the color Booty Call from the palette still. With the brush it comes with, I'm just gonna pat it on my eyelid where the empty spot is. Now I'm taking the color chopper and I'm just gonna apply this on top of the lash eyeshadow that we just apply on. Taking my angle brush again with the color bust still. Just gonna apply this on my lower lash line. At the end, you wanna drag out the line a little bit. And you want also to apply this on your uh, waterline. Using the color booty call again, I'm gonna apply this in the inner corner of my eyes to brighten up my eyes. We are almost done with the eye makeup and now you just have to curl your eyelashes really well and just apply on your favorite mascara and just apply to your top and bottom lashes. For my eyebrows, I'm using two different colors, a lighter and a darker brown. With the darker brown, I'm gonna draw drag out a line on the bottom of my eyebrows using this as like a base or a guideline to help me define my brow I'm using like slanted little stroke to fill it in For the inner area of my eyebrows, the lighter part, I'm gonna use the lighter brown to fill it in. I'm just gonna use like 
horizontal, little horizontal stroke to fill it in to make it look more natural. Now taking a spoolie to clean out all the hard edges and just make it look more natural. Okay, we're finally done with the eyes and the eyebrows and all that stuff. Now I'm moving on to contouring my face. I like to use my blush brush for contouring. I don't know why, but I think it's giving me the most natural contour look. I like to dab my fingers into the bronzer to use it to contour my nose to make it less flat and taller looking. Don't forget her beauty mark, just using a liquid eyeliner, you can draw in that really easily. Time to move on to the lips, the red lips, that's what I've been waiting for this whole time. Just using my NYX lip cream, I'm gonna apply it in the center of my lips and then using a lip brush to draw in the shape and like drag out the color but you want to work really slowly you want to take a good time on this because you're dealing with red it's really easy to make mistakes after you're done filling your lip with the red you want to go back with concealer one more time to go around the edges to clean up any mess And that's basically it for this look. I hope you guys like what I'm doing. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. So until next time, take care everyone. Bye everyone.